Hey folks, welcome to Detori. Scientists say that there are five uncovered secrets in the sea. Who knows what mysteries lie deep down in these seemingly calm waters? How many civilizations has it engulfed? And how many more will it do in the future? Though the scientific advancements are phenomenal, the world is still full of mysteries and never ceases to amaze us. But, do you want to hear a story about one of the greatest civilizations ever? Many people believe it is real, and some doubt it. But there are only a few people who are researching this topic. They are looking through history books, searching for it in the deep seas and deeply studying the areas where the Atlantic was once considered to be standing. Around 360 BC, Plato, one of the greatest philosophers ever, wrote something about a mysterious island. He wrote that such a kingdom exists whose founders were half god and half human. They created a utopian civilization and lived in harmony with each other and the thousands of other species of animals. This island was home to gold, silver, and other precious and rare metals. They lived on concentric islands that were separated by moats. There was a great capital city in the middle of these islands. The land of Atlantis was extremely beautiful and fertile. There lived were people who were half gods and half human beings. They had everything that was needed to live a beautiful and prosperous life. The city of Atlantis had a very proficient irrigation system, and they used it to grow every kind of crop on their fertile plains. Black and red stone materials were often used to build the most beautiful buildings and wonderful pieces of architecture. The people of Atlantis had a huge number of different types of crystals and other metals. They also had access to some metals which were extremely rare at the time. They also had access to brass. An amazing thing about this lost city is that it was mentioned 2,300 years ago by Plato but what's even more fascinating is that Plato had said that this island existed 9,000 years before him. So this lost city and its myth or legend are actually about 11,000 years old. The location of this city has puzzled scientists for quite a long time. According to Plato's description, this island is near the Rock of Gibraltar and consists of a Poseidon temple. Plato further states that this city should be underwater in the Atlantic Ocean. But so far, no scientific discovery has discovered such a city in the seabeds. For a long time, the Azores was believed to be the site of the city of Atlantis. New research shows the possibility that Atlantis can be found somewhere between the waters of Spain and Morocco in a place called Cadiz. Now, we don't know how much true this research or story is. It is a very debatable topic and some questions like whether Atlantis is even real or not will remain a mystery for the world. There will always be people who will keep guessing and will love to go on adventures deep down the seas and search for a lost city. Some theories also suggest that the Atlantis is located in the Mediterranean near the coast of Spain, but few also suggest that it could be under Antarctica. In short, Charles Orser once said, Pick a spot on the map and someone has said that Atlantis could have existed there. Poseidon, who is the god of sea, storms, and earthquakes, built this city out of love. Yes, he built this city out of love for a young mortal woman named Clado. It was built on the top of a hill so that it should be separated from the outside world, and thus the woman whom he loved so dearly would be safe. It is believed that before Poseidon built Atlantis, he traveled the whole world and looked for the biggest island. This is where he found Clado. She was one the most beautiful girl Poseidon had ever seen and thus fell in love. They both had five pairs of sons. The eldest of the ten sons was named Atlas, and he became the first ruler of Atlantis. It was a city with such great wealth that Poseidon built a statue of himself that was placed high up in the clouds, accessible through staircases all of which were built in gold. This has been depicted in many books and movies as well. The people of Atlantis were self-sufficient in nearly everything. They were also far more intelligent than normal humans and thus made tremendous advancements in every field of life. They became extremely advanced technologically and eventually got greedy and corrupt. Their moral values got low, so they faced God's wrath. Although none of it is recorded and there is no evidence of any such technology or advancement, Plato mentioned it in his work Timaeus and Critias. He mentions in this work that this city was destroyed within 24 hours. Yes, you heard it right. This great city with staircases to the clouds and gold and silver that had no limit was destroyed in only 24 hours. According to the legend, a spree of fires, earthquakes, and volcanoes destroyed this city, which might be true because there is scientific evidence of such happenings around the world. The world has been through many different phases, such as volcanic eruptions, storms, and fires that destroyed entire civilizations which is not new. In fact, who knows that one day we might also be wiped out because of global warming, and rising sea levels. But the question arises, will Atlantis ever resurface? To answer this question, we must keep in mind that though it is very easy for movie makers to show extremely fictional things as real as they can, the chances are extremely rare for a myth or a legend to become true. However, sites like Machu Picchu, Babylon's Hanging Gardens, and many other discoveries have proved that not all legends are myths. After Columbus discovered America, 
Some people thought it was actually the lost city of Atlantis. Later on, in the 20th and 21st centuries, people started to gain interest in the story of the lost city because many researchers of varying credibility published articles that told people that Atlantis had been discovered. Recently a team of researchers surveying parts of the Pacific discovered a dried lake with mysterious yellow bricks, which they found extremely bizarre. In the 20th century, scientists discovered the remains of an entire civilization buried under the seas off Greece. When the researchers did some explorations, they found that there is a proper living system for many people. With the help of technology, they found out in 2009 that are hundreds of buildings with rock-cut tombs and religious structures. They also saw the main streets and other buildings. Now, it is not sure how exactly this civilization met its fate but theories suggest that there was a tsunami that resulted in an earthquake and thus destroyed the city. Now many people believe that the right place where Atlantis could be found is not this one, but instead, it is the even more mysterious place called the Bermuda Triangle. They speculated that the city is not under Greece but under Bermuda because divers had allegedly found steps and pathways under the waters commonly known as the Bermuda Triangle. The idea of Atlantis under the Bermuda Triangle was very strong because it justified the mysterious Bermuda Triangles and the ships and airplanes lost. People suggested that there were still Atlantean machines that were working and thus causing the disappearance of these ships and airplanes. They thought that beneath the Bermuda Triangle were people with superpowers doing all of the disappearance stuff. But all of these speculations were negated because divers once again dived in and found that there was no network of pathways or pyramids but just natural rock formations. Thus, the mystery about the location of Atlantis became a mystery once again. Many people have looked up for Atlantis in different places, but none of them have turned out right. Maybe no one had yet looked at the right place where Atlantic could be found. According to Edgar Case, Atlantis will once again rise from the sea. He also predicted that new land would eventually appear on the coast of North America. That's a wrap. We hope you found this video informative. If you did, make sure to press the like button, subscribe to our channel for more future videos, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay notified whenever we post a video. Till next time, peace.